Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm playing on Legendary Iron Man to get my teeth kicked in by 90 plus mods that make my life a living hell. Double enemy size, yellow alert, uh, a better advent, uh, super hardcore enemies all across uh, the uh, floor, you name it. If there had been a mod that made uh, XCOM 2 more difficult, you can rest assured that it fi found its way into the playlist. Anyways, today we're in month number two. Uh, actually, started month number three, I should be correct. And we're in Operation Patient Skies, which might look easy on the surface, but we're up against yet again another uh, more extensive fight against the Dark Elder Raiders, which have proven to be... A quite overpowered faction actually uh, but on top of it we have the lost and they do no longer die with a single headshot and are also immune to poison so they might be a soft counter to the dark elders let's see how both factions will deal with one another and then on top of it we got the chosen that is very likely to show up and we're doing all of that in order to finally get a second engineer and a little bit of intel so who is going to dare going into the sewers here? It is going to be Ataxia, inappropriate Murphy, who for some reason still is allowed to run with XCOM. He has uh, refused to wear anything other than these hot pants. And uh, he's actually now a corporal. I'm not sure how he's doing it, but uh, he's climbing the ranks in his most inappropriate way. We got um, Sonar, who's leading uh, this year, Enders as our sniper, and Barbie with her first mission as the Grenadier. I purchased a second med kit because fighting against the Dark Elders, I figured poison immunity might be a good thing uh, because uh, they will shoot and hit with poison and having at least two characters that are just taking damage but are un unaffected by the poison uh, will hopefully give us an edge, uh, the edge that we need in order to do this mission. All right, let's get into it and see what we can do. Good time for us to land. And I'm wondering, I must be wrong because uh, this is a sewers map. Oh, I know what this is. This is one of the missions. Oh boy. Yeah, no losses here. I was wrong. I was so wrong. This is one of those missions where we need to hold on for a few rounds in order to actually uh, extract afterwards. Oh, those are hardcore. Destroyer Commander uh, Commando. We have some sort of high ground here. Yes, we do over here, but that'll be difficult to lure them into into that section of the tunnels. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. And we got a full pack of five elders waiting to just pop in and say hello. All right, Enders moves up. Hopefully both of these factions run into one another. Currently it doesn't look like that. No matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Well, thank you, Bradford. Uh, I already thought it was a little bit too easy, so I was worried if we could maybe early AVEC. But now that you told me that is not a possibility, I feel much better. One, two, three, four, five. We can see all of them, so this will not trigger. Move. Got it covered. 
There is the mild hope that they are running into one another. Destroyer Commando has 8 hit points. Destroyer Commando has 8 hit points and looks like someone who you don't want to mess with. I would say Barbie could take a full cover over here. There are even more perch units, 10 hit points even. This guy is well, very well armored. Okay, so if we can, could, if we could reveal that pack of the perch units, it should mean that all of them trigger. It's a dangerous game that you're playing, Saiken. Unfortunately, can't get close enough. I, I wish I could, but not yet. I think we're just going to Overwatch for now. It will be a matter of time and they will be running into one another. I am surprised that they haven't triggered each other yet. We can definitely see them. Come on, guys. It's not that difficult. Unfortunately, this wall here blocks line of sight. All right, we can't move anyways because uh, they have solidly caught up to us. Very good. Okay, cool. Well, that works in our favor. Need to keep them in line of sight for the packs to trigger each other. Look, a Reaper would be the perfect uh, candidate to just let them run into each other. Yeah, that might trigger. I'm not going to do that. I want to keep out of this fight. I want to see how both of these factions are dealing with one another. All right, finally. It's an equal match. Oh, and they do have a mutant legionnaire on the other side. Okay. Well, this is a, that is going to be an interesting fight. I think this uh, destroyer might be one of uh, the tough, uh, tougher units. Okay, the Le Legionnaire immediately takes some damage, but then increases. Alright, they are missing. Okay, cool. Ooh, poisoned and stunned. Luckily, there was no Counter-Strike. All right. Are you cut? Oh no, the VIP! Oh no, they ran into the VIP zone. And since it's a, a another faction, 
It just triggered the VIP. Oh no. All right, the mutant is down. We lost our concealment. You know that was good. We lost our concealment as well. <laughs> okay, well, this... I wanted to see the two factions go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one another. Looks like they've called in some friends. And... Okay. Sonar moves up, and we gotta get this commando guy destroyed. Nice little crit. Good job, man. Okay, so Barbie. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. There is an advantage and a disadvantage of just having this wall here. The advantage for sure is there are less options to really get into here. Disadvantage is the enemies have cover, which I also don't like. So I think what we're going to do is we're killing this guy. Opening up the battlefield a little bit more. And our VIP has a problem. A massive one. Unfortunately, we can't really do much about it. Other than giving them an aid protocol. And maybe continuing to do so in the future. Like, that's an Overwatch, that's an Overwatch. Do we want uh, to chain uh, 8 Protocol Donny? Maybe. It's not stacking, so uh, if they come in, they would only see full cover, full cover, potentially almost too far away. Uh, reload Overwatch. All right, purifiers. This is going to be a wild shootout. This, I should have maybe named that uh, campaign here uh, Total War because it seems everybody is fighting against everybody else. Maybe as a fun campaign, I will actually do a modded Warhammer 40k uh, Total War campaign. There, You can do a lot with that and I appreciate the mods. I've seen a few of them online. But never really like gotten into play uh, playing them but seeing how how well the dark elders here are being constructed really makes me wonder if i've been missing out okay double reinforcements on all sides and now bio troopers that's the first time that they are coming in uh, all of them are on the advent side Okay, that worked out well. Take a fire over here. Dark Elder is an easier target. That's good. That's good. We are being attacked. We fight as one. Okay, well, the Dark Elders begin to strike back. No, not against us. Oh boy, why? Oh, wow. Well, luckily the poison actually did not trigger because we had the immunity.
The witches are the worst. Oh, nice. The poison just goes through immunity, is what you're telling me? Fantastic. Fantastic. You want to stand in the open? Potentially not. We do have two charges of healing, so might as well use one here. Just to get rid of uh, the poison. Birch Trooper. I don't know if they explode. So gotta be careful here. Our VIP moves away. Alright, so we gotta set priorities the Dark Elder Hackatrix, which seems to be the upgraded version of the normal uh, Dark Elder. She definitely needs to die. I... Could see how we could like do something along the lines of uh, hitting her. But that requires... That would require a kind of full damage. That, on the other hand, there's a good chance for a crit here. Uh, and a moderate, moderate uh, size damage plus crit would completely kill her. So that's more than a 33% chance. Actually, the shotgun, as always, has a higher chance to kill. Even if you're melee skilled. Uh, indestructible cover is a bit of a problem. For the perch trooper. Uh, what are we going to do? So, I mean, we could start removing that, right? Right. Not the worst idea. Let's actually do that. Okay, very good, very good. Um, fifty fifty to get him down. I think that is not great, but sort of okay. That unfortunately wouldn't kill him in all of the cases. 50-50 for inappropriate Murphy as well. Let's try him. Didn't work out. Let's try again. Didn't work out either. That is too low of a chance. I hate to to waste opportunities here. But I think we will need to go and just blow him up. Grenade. That at least secures the kill. I don't want to be flanked. And the perch troopers are forced to be reckoned with. Meanwhile, the enemies are fighting against one another. No, no, no. Hmm. They will be as we are. All right, fantastic. The Perch Troopers versus the Dark Elders. Uh, 
Dark Elders were clever. They had uh, secured the high ground. Wow, they are stunning on top of everything that they are doing. Holy moly. I can now start to relate uh, to why the Dark Elders were considered to be one of the harder factions. Yep. Good, so Perch Trooper, uh, that's a miss, unfortunate. Move all the way to here. Good. So, on the other hand, this here would be a kill, but we're opening up uh, for that collector drone. And there was another guy right here, so that's a problem. This here... This here would be not flanking yet, but it would be a decent position to be in. The shotgun could kill. Yeah, the, these guys are a problem. They continue to be a problem. Alright, let's maybe start over here first. Inappropriate Murphy needs to heal himself. Okay, that was a mouse double click, although I single clicked. Fantastic. Which means Inappropriate Murphy is at the brink of being killed. Not good. So let's put him into full cover. And get that perch trooper down. We know that there are enemies over here. Could just overwatch with Barbie. Moving Donny completely back. Seventy percent isn't that bad. I mean, we could position ourselves to here for cover or to here double full cover really really solid position I'll, i like that one much more no longer a threat. My ammo's running low. all right barbie overwatches and we're good all right with a technical misplay it is a bit more difficult than expected because Because we do have um, inappropriate Murphy in a level range. But Trooper takes quite a bit of damage. But luckily we're okay. I think inappropriate Murphy might need to go back into full cover.
All right, the Dark Elders are charging in. That gets rid of our problem with the Overwatch. And they just mauled this uh, poor sector. Oh, right over there. Fantastic. Well, that's not bad. Um, good. We first of all get the VIP out of here. Well, we got a lot of those damn things that are coming in. But I think we could relative, relatively safely extract everybody with the exception of our ranger. I think we should do that. Running. And I do have an idea of how we're dealing with the ranger. Good. Sonar. Right here. It's a perfect location to be completely out of uh, line of sight. Got some here. They should not be aware where Sonar is. Wow. The few Dark Elders are still fighting against the Advent guys. I mean, look at that. Uh, they also do have 15 dodge. I did not appreciate that beforehand. Now, finally, one of them is being shafted by a bio trooper. Great. It only took like, what, three, four, five rounds. like they're running out of reinforcements let's get moving before that changes On the move. well hello there i wish i could do a shotgun to the face but that's not possible i'll leave you guys uh, to it uh, enjoy the rest of uh, this uh, big brawl and we'll just peace out 28 enemies wow that is a lot it did not work how I intended it to work. Like the idea was to stay out of combat, let the two completely whittle each other down, then kill the remaining ones, and then eventually fight against uh, the uh, the residual forces. And that would have worked if the if the Dark Elders wouldn't have just stepped into the zone and started with the VIP, which completely threw my plan uh, away. And I instead uh, needed to go into a massive firefight. But I think our position was by far the most superior one. I can say though that the Dark Elders are completely over tweaked. Like that is over the top design for normal XCOM units. These are just the entry units. Their shots are poisoning plus stunning. They do have dodge. They do have a little bit above average health. It's, it's just something else. Anyways, Ender is here with a promotion. And we are getting that sweet, sweet medical protocol onto Ataxia. Uh, let's do a bond with Barbie. I like it. Inappropriate Murphy and Barbie have bonded. I wonder what exactly that means. Barbie seems to have a soft spot for 
inappropriate jokes. But yeah, so far so good. It's actually going much better than I would have anticipated. The whole um, tri-party thing uh, can be used to our advantage. And I would continue to excavate as much as possible just to, uh, just to speed all of that up. Okay, in terms of supplies, there would be a soldier. Hmm. I like the idea of getting another higher level soldier. I like the idea of getting another higher level soldier, but I also want to make contact. So we're going to uh, check the updated black market and then we'll make contact. I'll skip the soldier. Uh, we Our roster is okay for now. In terms of selling, Elarum Crystals go for a premium. Uh, the Elarum Cores are too valuable. I don't want to sell them now. In terms of buying... Um, Corporal Specialist isn't bad. Mm. Advanced Agility is fantastic. Repeaters would be good as well. So I think we're going with the advanced agility. And then we're making contact and that will have used up all of the intel which uh, that we had originally. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. Attempting to establish local regional Come on magnetic weapons please. There we go, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, we got an inspired resistance radio, which would be faster. I think that's not a bad idea. But equally so, plated armor wouldn't be too bad. Ghost, ghost weapons would allow us to upgrade the remaining a uh, few weapons that we had. I think we're going for admin officers autopsy. Well, would we need that? No, that well, that is needed for proving grounds and experimental weapons plus that wouldn't be too bad. So let's go for it because proving grounds would be the next um, item that I or the next building that I would actually build. The advent office. Dr. Shen's constant vigil over my activities is starting to wear thin. Okay. Um wait 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 wait. We do have magnetic weapons and we should upgrade them. Missing some supplies, uh, but we got definitely enough alloys to then also do the short gun and potentially the pistol. So I think we should uh, do the supplies. Avenger plotting new course. And then do the weapon upgrade because that's just going to be so, so valuable. Just in time, as they say. Protect the device. Ugh. Intel suggests phantoms are operating uh, here and dark elders are operating there as well. Okay, cool. As opposed to a specialist encountering the hidden events. So the UFO will haunt us nonetheless. We need specialists and a corporal would be good. What's the reward here? 81 Intel. Look guys, I really want to play this mission here, but the reward sucks 
and the dark event isn't bad as well plus it is a protect the device mission but since you guys want to protect the device missions i'm actually somewhat inclined to do that however the problem is that in such a campaign i i wanted to give it my my best foot forward and not just lazily try to to lose the the campaign which means i need to take it serious and actually play the more smarter strategic decision and getting that extra corporal means we do have specialists who will be incredibly important for healing in this mission as there seems to be just so much unavoidable damage um, with all of these firefights happening so this is the way to go plus the hidden event could be quite quite nasty um, operation driving doom it is uh, from my own perspective let's just build the weapons real quick magnetic rifles yes please shotguns yes please and magnetic pistols yes please we'll leave the rest as is i mean the temper is not using his gun so let's not kid ourselves that's not going to happen but we're okay from the supply side uh, the alien debris here is being cleared out, so that will happen soon-ish as well. Which I think is overall good. Oh, we're in a really decent position. Autopsy is coming in soon. Once that is through... Once that is uh, through, I, I believe we're definitely going... Um, I'm almost inclined to also go for gas weapons for the snipers to have something to play with as well, but we the snipers already have their pistols which are fine and the standard weapons, so maybe the right play here is to purchase alien alloys for intel that we don't have. That's nasty, I should have double checked the alloys. Now we can't do plated armor immediately. Not until we have gotten some more intel. Alright, well, I mean, in that case, it's goes weapons uh, into experimental weapons. Not not the worst, we're not really losing a lot uh, by that. It just means we're remaining to be one-shots for now. And can't use as many other items but it's okay uh potentially shouldn't have done the pistol upgrade that just got the alloys down to uh, 10. i was thinking we have so many alloys don't even need to bother but i was wrong anyways that's the end of uh, today's mission thanks for watching guys if you feel like the like button looks a bit like a dark elder and you want to punch him really really hard to see if uh, it does dodge then now is the time to do that and leave a comment down below how it worked see you in a bit and have a great day bye bye